Australia's weather patterns are driven by multiple climate drivers, and the most renowned and important for Australia is La Nina and its counterpart El Nino. But a volcanic eruption is causing another climate driver to influence our weather through the summer. The current La Nina event is forecast to peak in November before probably returning to neutral early next year. However, La Nina is not like a light switch. Even if it does officially return to neutral in January or February, a La Nina-like pattern is likely to continue for at least another month or two after that. So I'm expecting La Nina to bring wetter than usual weather in eastern Australia for at least uh, until February, but probably until March. But it's not the only climate driver increasing our wet weather in the east this summer. The southern annular mode, or the SAM, is being powered by a strange source, a volcanic eruption. In January this year, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano erupted within Tongan waters. It was the most explosive eruption since Krakatoa killed 36,000 people in 1883. Its shockwaves travel around the world a total of six times. It continues to have an impact today. One of the key factors of this volcano was that it was submarine or an underwater volcano. Therefore, it didn't merely send smoke and ash into the atmosphere, but water was blasted upwards in vast quantities, reaching a height of 58 kilometres above the Earth's surface. For Australia's weather, the key is what's going on in the stratosphere over Antarctica. The quantity of water vapour in the stratosphere in the southern hemisphere has increased by about 20% by the volcanic eruption. This water vapour is helping to cool the stratosphere over the top of Antarctica. And over the past month, it's been about 1 to 3 degrees colder than usual. And the cold air above Antarctica is strengthening the polar vortex, which is measured by our climate driver, the southern annular mode. Essentially, we're talking about the winds swirling around Antarctica being stronger than usual in a positive SAM. And so when they're stronger than usual, like now, they stay closer to Antarctica and we get fewer cold fronts. And when we get fewer cold fronts, the east coast from about Brisbane down to Hobart, we generally see more easterly winds, more onshore winds, and that brings more wet weather. Ordinarily, it's tricky to forecast the southern annular mode a long way in advance, but with the volcanic eruption, it means that there is a high confidence that sand will be stuck in a positive phase until at least the end of summer. So between La Nina and a positive SAM for the vast majority of the east coast and to a lesser extent the eastern inland, there is a high chance of wetter than usual weather right through until the end of summer.